folkies! Today we're gonna learn something a little bit different than usual because we are gonna learn a hurdy-gurdy polska. In Scandinavia in general, hurdy-gurdy has never been and still isn't a very common instrument. There are a few here and there, but nothing compared to like the fiddles especially and the nickel harpas and harding fellas and this kind of instruments. However, on the island of Gotland in southern Sweden, in the Baltic Sea, there has been a family in a farm called Grodda that had a tradition of hurdy-gurdy playing. At least they had one hurdy-gurdy and it was played for several generations, especially by a man called Grod Ole. So Ole from the Grodda farm. And thanks to Grod Ole, we got several specific hurdy-gurdy tunes, including Vejevlire Polska Nummer 1, so the hurdy-gurdy Polska number 1, which is very often shortened into Vejevlire Ettan, the hurdy-gurdy number 1. I have learned this tune from Markus Svensson, who is a teacher at Gotland's Folkhögskola and knows quite a bit about the music from that island. It's a very easy tune, there is no climbing on the Kaharpa, and on Hurdegurdi it goes only in one row. So, pretty beginner friendly. Also, for the occasion, I decided to finally dare to play Hurdegurdi in front of people. I am by no means a good Hurdegurdi player. I have played only for a few years, and I don't have much time and energy to put into it. And also, my Hurdegurdi has a few technical problems that doesn't make it very easy to learn to play. So really don't consider me as an example of hurdy-gurdy playing at all. I will do my best so that it sounds clear, it's easy to learn from and it sounds as enjoyable as possible. But I just thought that for this very specific tune it was appropriate to teach it on hurdy-gurdy, which is the instrument that it's thought for, made for. <laughs> So the tune has two parts, and I am tuned in D, and the tune goes in G major. So, A part. We're gonna check it without the drone and a little bit slower. One, two, three. to see about this part, so let's jump into the B part directly. that as quite often with a little bit old type polskas, the B part is composed of a little own B motive and then you use the end of the A part as a conclusion to the B part. So if you want the structure of the tune would be the A part A1, A2 and the B part B, A2. So let's get into these details a little bit slower. The little B motif first.
right leg. Now let's play the whole tune with its full structure, so two times A part, two times B part, at a slightly slower tempo without a drone. And one, two, three. and at full dance tempo, which is not going to be very fast anyways, because slang polskas are not very fast when they go in quarter notes, which is the case here, except for the little doo -doo 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 -doo, that is the fastest bit, but it's not a very big deal. So a little bit of drone. That is pretty much in tune. Hope it will stay so. It's a little bit of a bet to play Hardy Gurdy outdoors. <laughs> Also, I'm not gonna add any buzzing because first I don't feel comfortable doing it in public yet and also because there is a problem in my crank and I cannot actually turn it normally. So no buzzing. Easier for me. <laughs> Very good excuse. And one, two, three. advanced girdists in the room if you have any tips about my hurdy-gurdy playing please let me know I would welcome technical and experience advice very gladly for everyone I hope you will have fun learning this little nice tune I feel it's very spring feeling somehow because it's nice and sunny and not hard and just just a nice little tune somehow if you enjoyed this video please like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and consider supporting me on Patreon, which is a very nice way to help me get new parts for my instruments when it's needed, as it is the case for this little fellow. I wish you a lot of nice time playing and listening to nice music. Take care, thank you for watching, and especially thank you to my patrons, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, Doa! <laughs>